everyone welcome back to Dulcie's creations my name is Dulcie and today we are going to do a swipe now I've got this canvas it is 30 by 40 centimeters and I'm going to work on this I still need to put some paint but I thought I would first show you the colors I'm going to use and then I'll prepare the canvas so I've got this purple um, violet amethyst yeah all those wonderful names it's got right and in here I've got a mix of Lumiere halo violet gold I've got deco art Americana satin eggplant aubergine depends where you are what you call it and I've got doe crafts artiste metallic amethyst so that one makes up those three colors make up that one then i've got this lovely green and that one is made up by martha stewart mint chip deco art extreme sheen metallic jadeite i've got this beautiful pink and that one's made up of martha stewart pink taffeta pebio acrylics violet blue iridescent and then i've got this lilac or at least I would call it lilac and that is made up of Pebio acrylics violet cobalt extreme sheen deco art lavender frost and some Martha Stewart eclipse last but not least it's light blue and that is made out of Pebio acrylics blue iridescent iridescent blue green and Martha Stewart jet stream so those are my colors my swipe color will be white I'm going to use some Amsterdam titanium white I've already mixed it in here with some water and it has a, a touch just a little scoop of um, sorry about my arm satin enamels just a little tiny bit pure white so that will also that will be the base of the canvas and my swipe. Okay, everything is mixed with water and nothing else. All right, so I'm going to prepare the canvas and bring you back. All righty, so the canvas is now covered. Paints here and my papers. I'm going to swipe with. So this is actually the third time I'm going to do this. Not on this canvas. This is a brand new canvas. But I've tried to do swipe technique three times and three times I've messed it up I just didn't like what it looked like so I've swiped it three times now I'm going to try it on a canvas and see how it goes I'm hoping it works out I've been watching um, Art's Creations she just makes it look so simple let's just hope it all works out These colors have been chosen by my daughter. This is for her. She wanted li uh, lilac. She wanted pastel colors. Now I have made them slightly darker because in a swipe they tend to disappear. So I did make them slightly darker than she would have had wanted. Um, so hopefully it will be all right. I really just wanted to work, to be honest. <laughs> First time I've tried. A method that I've struggled so much with it. But I guess we can't all get it right the first time. Practice makes perfect. Is that not what they say? I'm just using paper towels and I have um, just wet the edges slightly. to turn the canvas around because I'm not about to try and do it reach over and make a mess now there's still more than enough paint in there that's why I haven't put any more white I love the, the cells they're so tiny and so pretty
Now what I'm just going to do is I'm going to tilt it a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to just tilt it a little bit so that if there's a lot of paint it can move a bit. But to be honest, I don't want to do much with it. I like how it's turned out. There just seems to be quite a bit of paint still on the canvas. Now I know there's a big white in the middle, but the idea is to resin this and then in the center there, put in some glass or crystals and that so that center won't stay as it is right now. Oh, I like that effect. So let's put it down. Stop moving it. I'm going to torch one more time and then I'm going to clean the base, just the sides, because the way the colors are and the way they've mixed and these beautiful little cells, I love it. So I don't want to touch it anymore. It's worked. All right, so let's just do this end. Dry for at least three or four weeks before I even attempt some resin on it so today is the 7th of March so yeah in a month's time I will then do the resin and whatever I'm going to do over there but I like the way it has turned out it looks gorgeous so folks I will see you with this painting in a month's time for you of course it's only a matter of a few seconds this swipe is now um, fully dry it has been four weeks so I've just laid these stones down. I have got amethyst, rose quartz, and aventurin. Aventurin is the screen. Rose quartz, pink, and amethyst. And then I want to add on the top is called crystal tears. Now I haven't put them down yet. But it is a mix of just beautiful, absolutely beautiful colors. So I'm going to put a few of those down also. So what I've just done is I've just put down a few because I wanted to see how it would look. And I do want to put a few. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some UV resin and get them to dry give the UV resin a try and then get this going. So I'm going to take everything off and then is all done it is lovely and dry all these crystals are down I have put two coats of varnish so I thought I would show you but please do stay to the end because I'm going to take some pictures in the sunshine so you can actually see the crystals but I think you can actually see how beautiful they are looking and yes I have left top light so that you can actually see the shine of the varnish and how good it actually does look all those beautiful cells that came out during the swipe the crystals hasn't taken anything away from it all the crystals all I did was put them in where the white was thank you so much for being here with me and on this journey please like subscribe and press that notification bell so you are notified of all my upcoming projects and above all, please do leave me comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me maybe what you would have done different. Do you like the crystals on them? Should I have not done it? What do you think? Let me know. Wherever in the world you are, please stay safe, stay well, and I will see you all soon. Bye for now. <music>